obviously conference times, you know, to me it signifies that, you know, the race is on. You know, there's a championship that each and every team's going to be uh, chasing. And, uh, and I think it's wide open. Uh, obviously, we got some teams that are playing really, really well. You know, I think our league is as good as it was last year. When you talk about from top to bottom. And I think your most experienced teams are the teams that are, that are playing well. And, uh, and so with our team, with, with a lot of newcomers, uh, we're still uh, trying to find that identity. And, and hopefully, you know, uh, as it's always been in the past, we start really start playing some of our best basketball, uh, hopefully in February and, and on into March. Uh, you know, obviously with a lot of new faces, uh, you just know there's going to be a lot of up and down, ebb and flow. You know, the identity we want to have, we want to play up-tempo, in-your-face, pressure defense uh, uh, for 40 minutes. And, you know, at times, uh, when you get to conference play, it's all about just trying to find a way to win. You know, no, no matter what the tempo is, you want to find a way to win. And so, uh, as we go and play A&M, a team we were familiar with, uh, it seemed like every year we open up with A&M. Uh, uh, but it, it's a typical uh, Billy Kennedy's team. Defensively, physical, rebounding. Uh, the Starks kid is a very good basketball player. We know that flag. This is a guy that played last year with their basketball team. Uh, they've had some transfer, a grad transfer in there. The, the big kid, Christian, uh, I don't know his last name, but he's, uh, he's very explosive. Uh, Nemo, the kid, comes off the bench. Uh, J.J. Chandler, so very familiar with their personnel. And they had a tough schedule. Uh, they won like five of the last six games. I think they had won five in a row before I think Texas Southern uh, beat them. So uh, it's, it's a new race, new season. Uh, we talk about the intensity that takes place in conference play, and here we are. It goes up uh, 20 notches, I think. And so for our young guys, they're going to get their eyes open uh, right off the bat as we uh, go on the road. How do these practices go during this, you know, midweek of that game? How much did you get done? Did a, a Jordan Phillips, for instance, did he progress in? Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, this has been a great period, I think, for guys like Jordan Phillips. Uh, not only Jordan, but I think our whole team because, you know, when you first start off, you, you put a lot of stuff out there on these guys, and they've got to pick it up, and they've got to get it to where it's instinctively. And so – now what happens, you get a chance to go back and, and look what we've done and, and, and really kind of reiterate the things that are really important. So I think for Jordan, just getting the reps in practice, uh, uh, even for guys coming back, uh, I think it's so important. So just working on the timing. We've done some two-a-days, uh, uh, a lot of shooting, uh, uh, just a lot of skill development and, and, and all that, just trying to uh, figure out, you know, the things that we got to get better at. And one of the things I – I uh, talked to our guys about it, is our defense is, has been pretty good. Uh, but I think we just got to continue to to really harp on the finishing part of defense. And that is getting in there and getting bodies in there and coming up with uh, rebounding. Because our guards, uh, they're so critical in, in what we do. Uh, a lot of times, Daniel may go block a shot. That offside guy has been really killing us. And so we got to dive in there with our bodies and, and move people. And that means you got to get a little more physical. And, uh, as I said, this is another test for these guys. They'll figure out the physicality that we talked about. Uh, little things matter now. All those little small things add up. Loose balls, you know, getting a stop when you need one. Uh, those are going to be critical right now. But uh, to your point, uh, Jordan, uh, not only Jordan, but uh, even today, I think Justice is going to have a chance to uh, – I think he's cleared to uh, – Justice Hill, that is, to, to practice with us. And that's, that's all he'll be able to practice. And, uh, kind of get a grasp of what takes place at this level. How good is it to get him practice? And I know I guess he wouldn't play, but how good is it to get him to practice? Well, I, I think it's, it's something. It's another chapter that, you know, we hadn't had a kid do that. So it's something he wanted to do, and, uh, and we, we welcome him to do it. And uh, it can only just, you know, get him uh, get a little bit more prepared. How much does – obviously it helps him, but how much does it help you guys to have another – it would be good. I think it would be good. It would be good for both parties. I should have looked this up. I think this might be the fourth time you guys have opened at 
A&M to open the SEC play. How, how do you feel about that? Well, I just said that. It, it seemed like it's the annual you know, open up. And so uh, uh, we voiced some little concern about it last year, and here we are again. So, uh, But it's conference time, and everybody's going to – we play them at home and home. So play them early, play them again uh, at some point in time. Uh, it's, there's 18 games, and so every game is, is, is so important. Everything magnifies now. And so it's the first game on our schedule, and uh, you want to be in the opportunity to have a chance to win a championship. And so you got to go on the road and, and try to steal some. And so uh, that's our first task is to go and play against a uh, uh, very athletic uh, Texas A&M team. Mike, you mentioned offside guys are killing you on rebound. What other denominators do you see, common denominators, in what's getting you on rebounding right now? Well, I just think it's just uh, the effort, the second and third effort. I think we're in position. I mean, the guys are doing exactly what we're asking them to do. Uh, but it comes to a point where there's a second and third and fourth effort. Uh, you got to, I mean, you got to lay your body on the line. I think we got those kind of guys. It's just uh, they got to understand that you got to want it and uh, got to go get it. Nobody's going to give it to you. So, and I, I think we'll see that that kind of effort continue to be on display. This team's playing hard. They're playing hard. They're, they're, they're playing together. And they're trusting one another. And so uh, just when you go on the road, obviously, uh, whether it be non-conference, conference play, uh, a lot of things have to click. And, and one of them is you got to be able to shoot the ball in the hole, get to the free throw line, take care of the basketball and keep them off the boards because that's where the fouls come in and that's where they uh, get second chance points. And so we got to eliminate those things. Uh, we're doing a lot of good things. Uh, like I said, uh, when you talk about assists, you know, we share the basketball. Field goal percentage, we were pretty decent. Our free throw percentage can go up. Uh, uh, we're going to be one of the teams that going to create turnovers. Uh, and obviously that changes the possession game. So if we can win that possession game, I think that favors us. Is the three-point shot change rebounding, where it's not just big guys blocking out, but the long rebounds that that generates? Uh, you know, that's a great point, Nate. I, I think more teams are shooting free throws. I mean, you're seeing more teams shoot the three-point shot. And, uh, and and so, with that being said, it's a lot of long rebounds. And so, guys have got to be in, engaged. You know, if I go out and contest, uh, let's say Bob shoot a jump shot, contest it. You know, uh, with the way Bob shoot, it may come right back to him. So, so hell, I got to get back in the play as opposed to chasing it going that way. And so, uh, and our guys, as I told them, uh, you got to be able to anticipate and, and really follow that basketball. And so, uh, but that's that's a great point. There. There's a lot of more three point shots going up, and so um, it's about who wants it. And uh, and you got to be you got to be able to see it to go get it. And if if I'm on this side over here and I don't see the shot go up, there's no way I'm gonna get it. So it's just. Uh, um, our guys really just just kind of kind of honing in on that and understand that's very important. Mike, do you feel like you guys are ready for NCC play? Uh, ready or not, here we come. <coughs> and, well, I think we, our schedule is built us up ready for. I mean, we played a, a variety of, of different teams, uh, uh, teams that play mid tempo, teams that play up tempo, uh, teams that really get. Yeah, we play some pretty good basketball teams. And so uh, we'll find out more about ourselves, I think, as we get ready to step into conference play. That's, this is our, I think, 13th game. So uh, uh, we'll be ready. Speaking of missed threes, um, a and last in the league, three point shooting 29%. I think they're shooting a lot more threes because they're not quite as big. But what do you make of their three point shooting? And maybe they're more perimeter oriented than they have. Well, yeah, I think they play with a little more freedom, I think, from that standpoint. You know, when they had. I'm a two NBA guys. When you talk about Davis, you can throw it in there. And if he don't score, here come Williams tip dunking it in there. Uh, I mean, they have some really good basketball players there. And, and I think they're athletic this year. Uh, so, uh, and they're rebounding at a higher clip than they did last year. I think they're, they're rebounding like 37% of the missed shots. That's, that's an important stat there. So, uh, it, it's uh, so that's going to be really important that we do a good job of of making them take tough shots, but rebound the basketball and, and limit them to getting transition uh, offense. Now, last year we played them down there. I know they just they had a barrage of three point shots that were made, but they were wide open, non contested shots. And so, uh, uh, like I said, what took place in non conference, uh, you got to assume that they can shoot the basketball because they're shooting it. They lost to Texas Southern, but Texas Southern's got some really good wins. Kind of, what, what do you make of them? 
losing at home too. too so. Well, Texas Southern got some older guys. You got guys that are 23, 24 years old, man. They have some men out there. And uh, and I don't think a &M shot the ball well. Uh, and and, and uh, Texas Southern got off to a really good start. Uh, Again, a and been playing really good basketball. They played a good, uh, good non-conference schedule. Lost some games early on, and I think they're starting to put it together. They have some newcomers on that team as well. How fair do you think Reggie and, and Gabe are? Reggie's going for his first time to the SEC. Gabe's role is obviously a little bit bigger than last year. What was the question there? Yes, yeah, how fair Reggie and Gabe are. I think they're right. I think you know they they played in in games where it's uh, meaningful minutes. Uh, so, and and I think we can see their progression, uh, especially a guy like Reggie. I mean, he even started one game, and I thought he had the jitters, but uh, he got through it. And he's been pretty consistent in what he brings to the table. Uh, Gabe, obviously, you know he, his role is going to be a little different, but uh, uh, but I think when he stays in that role, I think he's very very effective for our basketball team. And he's one of those guys going to really have to step up and and rebound for us and do some of all the little little dirty work. Uh, this is going to be a blue collar game, and and I'm gonna call on those guys to to go out and, and perform. But they've had an opportunity to do it in non conference play, so it's not like they're just going out there. It's basketball, you know. Obviously, in conference, everything just kind of goes up uh, many, many more notches. And they, they'll get a sense of that once they're in, in the game and, and get pushed out or get knocked down or call doesn't go their way. And, you know, you can't sit there and pout about it. You better get back down to the end because the action moves uh, so quick. Gabe, yeah, he's had a bunch of assists the last two games. Well, what do you thought of his passing and, you know, getting assists? I think he got seven assists the last two games. Hey, well, he's getting more time and he's got a, he got a good feel for the game. Uh, I think when you got – you know, you got guys can shoot the basketball, and Isaiah and, and Mason, and uh, he does a really good job of getting the ball to Daniel. Uh, I think he really does that. And he's playing with a lot more confidence. That's, that's what it's all about, getting more comfortable out there on the floor. And the more they get comfortable, the, I think the better team we're going to be. Uh, you, you're seeing it with uh, Keyshawn. You've seen it with Desi. And so what you want it to be is you want it to be consistent. I think that's got to be the biggest key. they got to be consistent. Day in and day out, a guy like Mason Jones, he's starting. He's getting a lot of it. He got to be consistent in what he brings to the table, day in and day out. And once you do that, then uh, I think we got a team that that uh, that's that's to be reckoned with. I really do.